Okay, so when you want bevels at two different widths on the same edge, it can be actually really problematic, especially when you start doing a curvier shape like this. So I'm going to kind of show you how you can go about doing this. Now, it's probably a bunch of different ways I don't even know about, but uh, basically, let's start with a cube. And we'll take the cube out here, recreate that shape real quick, add in a couple loop cuts. So just control R, add some loop cuts. Now, here's the thing. You're going to start by doubling this one. Pick the amount of uh, segments you need. Stick with it. So in this case, I'm going to use eight. And this one over here, I'm going to use eight as well. All right. Now, this is seems like it's going to be really problematic, but it's really not. Um, you could grab this vertex here, this vertex here, and just press J and join them. You'll see it cuts a straight line all the way across like so. Alternatively, you could use the knife tool. Press K, click, click over here. Um, if you want to cut more, you can right click and go start cutting or just finish up by hitting the space bar. Okay, same deal through there. Now, let's select that vertex, hold control, click that vertex, X, delete vertices. Looks like a big problem, but it's really not. So I'm going to select by edge. Okay, so press 2, hold Alt, click, control F, grid fill. Done. That one's real simple. These planar faces, they're all flat, right? So these are real easy to do. Now, I'm going to get a little bit more complicated here in a second. So I'm actually just going to control Z back. So we got the same shape. Okay, now I'm going to take this and with proportional edit, I'm going to grab that face. And now we can press G and move it around. Let's move it up. Let's uh, rotate it a little. Pull it out this way, maybe. Okay. So if we try doing that same thing here, we do a bevel, eight-sided, a bevel, eight-sided, and we do a J, you'll see what happens instantly is that, well, in this case, it doesn't even want to connect them at all. It says it can't. So a lot of times it'll give you the wrong result, though, so it might be something really crazy. All right, so we can't do that. Uh, we can use the knife tool still. Now you can click through here like so if you wanted to, um, but you might want to just click and hold and just carefully cut exactly where you need it. Okay. And then right click and right click and cut all the way through there like that as well. Okay. If you messed up somewhere, you can grab one, press GG, turn off proportional edit, GG, slide them around a little bit maybe. Okay. And so here's the problem. As soon as we grab all this, say we grab all this through here, we delete it, grab this, control F and grid fill. Um, in this case, it actually worked. A lot of times it won't though. It's going to go crazy and do something nonsense. Uh, and you won't be able to actually grid fill it at all like this. So if that's the case, I want to show you what you do in that situation. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this vertex delete it okay you're going to take this vertex and you're going to delete it these edges right here you're going to bevel these now you're not going to use um, we'll reset this to default though uh, you're not going to use offset you're going to use percentage okay and so you're going to crank that up and you should be able to max it out like so and it'll um, if you need to just check click uh, clamp overlap and it shouldn't go past those edges so that's all you're going to do in this area. And then you'll have doubles in the corners, right? So press A, M, merge by distance. Now, with that out of the way, you can hold Alt, click here, Control F, grid fill this one, okay? Alt, click, Control F, grid fill that one. And there you go. So if it doesn't work, that's what you do. In this case, it did work, though, so it wasn't a real big deal. Anyways, I hope you learned something in this one. I'll check you out in the next one. All right, take care.